then things came to an end. Like you said, things got really messy. You know, obviously both of your careers were probably taking off at the time. And that's when the rumors started flying, which brings us to Video Girl. Everyone says that this song is written about you, and it doesn't say the nicest thing in the song. So, I mean, can you clear that up? Is that true or not? Um, Do you know? You know, I'll be honest. Like, I, I don't know. I haven't talked to them since... It, since we broke up, I right. haven't even talked to him uh, ever. Um, so I don't know, but my guess is that it is about me because most of the other girls they've dated, you know, don't really fit the song because it says like something about their dad paying for them and you know stuff like right. that and winning pageants. And I did a lot of pageants and I did win pageants, FYI. Congrats! <laughs> it says that in the song. Awesome. No, but um, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure it is about me. But that's you know the thing about being in the business is that people are always gonna assume that you're writing this song like I have songs and they think that they're about him right and you know yeah Which I write about my personal life. exactly that's what you do if but it's funny that they never find like one of their more romantic sweet songs and say oh is this about Zoe you know of right. course they pick the meanest song and I don't know. I don't really know. <laughs> and then fans, huge backlash from Jonas Brother fans. Videos all over the internet saying terrible things about you, that you use them. Has that been hard for you? Or are you really able to just dust it all off? Or is there ever a time uh, when you're like, this is too much to handle? You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it, it really is. Um, I mean, I can't, I, I don't read, um, you know, comments anymore and things. I don't, I try not to read, like, the gossip sites and things like that because I don't think that these girls understand that we are like real people we're exactly. human beings like we have feelings and it really hurts and people are so quick to judge without ever having met me ever knowing anything about me all they know is I dated him that's it right. and it really it really does hurt it really really sucks um give her a chance <laughs> give her a chance um, something else that's really interesting, constantly in the media, we've reported on Russell Brand talking about on the VMAs last year, commenting on the purity rings of the Jonas Brothers. What is your opinion on their rings, and what do you have to say about that? Um, you know, I think, honestly, I don't, I, I don't think it's anyone's business. I mean, it's very private, and um, Taylor Swift actually said once um, that she just doesn't talk about the fact of if she's pure or not, or what her opinion is on that because then it just makes people start thinking about you right having sex you know exactly. and it's just her point is like you know respect me for my music and that's it so I don't think um, I don't take any stance on it because what people want to do is their opinion you know all you can do is be a good influence but I don't think you should say don't do this or you know something like that so I don't necessarily not agree with it but I think honestly private lives should be kept private and so almost by like wearing the rings, they're bringing more attention. I, exactly, to and I think that's a really right. good point that she made. Um, just makes people think about it more, and you're trying huh. not to let people think about it. Right, that. exactly. Very interesting. <laughs> mm. Well, obviously, we know that since your relationship, uh, Kevin has moved on. He's engaged. Mm -hmm. um, has it been hard for you to move on? I mean, it's hard to recover from any relationship, but um, absolutely. I mean, it. I mean, it was rough, and I think there's another rumor that I want to clear up that everyone assumes for some reason that I dumped him, okay. and that's not the truth. The truth is, he dumped me, and it was rough. It was really bad, um, probably like one of the worst, right? you know, and what, but what was worse though was not just that he dumped me, it was that um, there was no explanation, there was no reason. Things were like completely fine, all up until it happened, like the night before. Yeah. He, brought me roses and then all right. of a sudden the next day it's I can't do this anymore and that was it. What do you think it was? I honestly I just think it's just stuff in the business that I, I mean I'll never know I still don't know huh. what happened. Um, I can say that no one ever cheated on anyone, no one That's used good. anyone, cheated on my end as far as I know yeah. I don't know but I mean I don't know but it, I definitely um, I mean I don't regret dating him but I definitely have learned so much about this business that I never knew even happened. I didn't know you were allowed to tell someone they can't have a girlfriend. I didn't know you were allowed to, you know, there's just a lot of things that went on that nobody knows and people just assume that I like cheated on him and then dumped him or something like that, but that's not the case. Um, but it, yeah, it hurt really wow. bad. <laughs> but I mean, like anyone that's getting married, I mean, I'm gonna wish them the best. Right, I mean, right. I don't have any hard feelings. I've never met Danielle, um, so. 
I wish them the best of luck. <laughs> well, you know, even when it is a Jonas brother, there are still a lot of fish in the sea. And I can tell all of our viewers at home that this girl is really, really sweet. We need to give her a chance, and her music is incredible. <laughs> Thank you so much for being so open. Um, this yeah. is, has been something you've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, yeah, I mean, because I just, it's been three, over three years, you've you know? You've totally moved on. You've had other boyfriends. <laughs> exactly. Right? I just want to... I just wanted to set the record straight on some of those rumors and just say, like, that's it. Let's just end it, put it away. We've both moved on, and I'm out here to perform and do what I love to do. And, you know, I want people to respect me for that, not for who I've dated or not dated. Well, well the Jonas Brothers is a great group. You're a great performer. Maybe we'll see you on tour together someday. Maybe. <laughs> I would like to be there for that. Well, Zoe, hopefully this is the absolute last time you're ever going to be asked about this because it is time to move on, people. She cleared it up right here with us on Clever TV, and we wish her all the best. You can keep up with Zoe Myers on Twitter. Your Twitter name is? Twitter.com slash Zoe Myers. Follow her there. I'm Jocelyn Davis for Clever TV. Thanks for watching, and don't forget that you can get constant Clever updates by subscribing to all of our channels and following us on Twitter, too. See you guys later.